this week on the Hoover Boys. We just took the picture for the thumbnail and we're gonna have to redo it. You got another silver, bro? Well, this one, this one would disappear <gasps> in that thumbnail. Ooh. Yeah. Waiting for the tractor to pass. I hope you guys saw last week's episode because this week is a continuation of that hunt. It was Mark and myself. We are investigating a new farm permission that he just got. And on his map, it showed there was a store on the property. And we found that store. Once we hit the iron pass, we were finding some clad and some stuff. It took us a little minute. It took us a little minute. It took us a minute or two to slow down and actually work the iron. And then we started pulling out big coppers, large cents, silvers. I got on this weird silver streak. I found a you know silver Washington quarter and then a barber quarter and then a mercury dime and then a seated liberty dime and then a seated liberty quarter. And then Mark put me in timeout because I was finding too much stuff and uh, he needed to catch up. So that's right where we cut last week's episode and let's get right to it. I was in timeout and here's the rest of the day. I wasn't kidding. I'm in timeout. Mark sent me back to the trucks for supplies. We're about a quarter mile that way. Hopefully he's got something shiny by the time I get back. What a day. Finally made it back. And as I was walking up to Mark, he gives me the silver sign. I'll have to join you. I probably got your rosy. My rosy? Maybe. Yeah. Down to it with my that? Yeah. Am I doing this? Yeah, please. I don't want to do this. I've been doing this all day. Do it again. I think it's going to be a Merc. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> That's right cool. On. I already got one of them today. Yay! Pull it out and I'll fool you. All right. <laughs> you already fingered it. Yeah, why not? 35, I do believe. Nice! Yay! Now there is six silvers today. Yep. And counting. It's still early. Nice. Mark joined the party. 1935 Mercury Dime. No mint. Beautiful coin though. I love when the uh, the low parts are real dark like that. Highlights the details. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. There Appreciate you go. It. Am I still in timeout or can I beep again? All right, you can go back to it now. All right, sweet. <laughs> He's got a big high tone here. It was low 80s on my machine. It definitely sounds large. I'm just curious what it could be. Massive cradle bell, belt buckle. Yeah, it sounded big. At least it did to me. We'll find it. Here's the rest of my, my clock. Clock internals. Pocket watch. I'm just going to keep talking until you find it. Alright. Let me dig again. Here you go. You want this? Yeah, if I have to. If I have to. <sighs> hey. Yeah. Rain's guide. Rain's guide. I knew it was gonna be big brass. Yep. I like this that? yard. There's there's stuff here. Yeah, man. At first we thought it was been beat before, but apparently not. You don't miss signals like that, or at least you shouldn't not dig signals like that. <laughs> this sounded close to a dime, and uh, not shiny, but it might be a copper. Definitely looks big and round. Come here. Maybe another matron. It's like low 80s. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Has some details. I like the, the green look on this one. Oh, it's a Drake Boston. It's beautiful. How about that? How about that? Let me get two hands on this one. I think it's a 1807. Look at that one, buddy. Nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> Holy cow. Now I'm working on a large cent trifecta. <laughs> this coin was definitely lost in really nice condition. The ground wasn't too rough to it, but it wasn't too kind either. Face is quite nice. Definitely has some, some really small pitting on it. But it's an 1807 drape bust large cent. Absolutely beautiful. I love these coins. Nice early United States large scent. Couldn't tell you the last time I 
Kiss Lady Liberty this many times. They're all different ones too, which is awesome. A day to remember. Another day to remember. 2021's been a good year so far. Hopefully it continues. Old medicine bottle or something. Yeah? Oh, yeah, that it. completes your nickel trifecta today. Beautiful shield nickel. Sorry, John. No, oh, John's still looking for. Oh, I'm sure it's on there. Just yeah, still kicked up. Scrape it up a little bit. Oh, that is awesome. Heck yeah. The day of trifectas. Mm -hmm. Love it. <laughs> they do not come up often. You think That's I was awesome. looking for gold today? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're, we're always trying. <laughs> I'm missing a SLQ, Standing Liberty. All right, that's, that's probably what this is going to be. Standing Liberty quarter, huh? Oh. You got a root. Already. <laughs> Mark came over to look at this uh, deer head they have hanging in the tree. Well, it's a skeleton. A little buck. Oh. I don't want to miss. This over there. I know. Take your time. Over by the root, of course. Oh, oh you got to throw it, it sounded like. Either that or you snapped your quarter in half. That probably did. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I ain't through it. It's <laughs> gonna turn into a long one. It better not be a clad quarter. That's not. Come on now. Did you fling it? No, nah, it's still down in there. Yeah, that sounds quite nice. It's at the bottom of that hole. Under the root. That's where they hide all the good stuff, right? That's where the treasure is hidden. <gasps> oh, I don't like where you're. And I got a little close to it, I believe. Um, no. What's going on here? I don't know. Oh. I'm not a doctor. Uh oh. What? <gasps> there it is. Silver quarter. Yeah. It's silver. It. I'm not plucking. Oh, don't be scared. What are we going to call it? I just. We already called it SLQ. We did? We did. I hope it's older. Uh, Washington. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> 61. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to make sure you didn't mint it because it yeah. seemed close to. Put the muck man on it, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's clean. Yeah, you, you, you did well. Oh. 61 silver. Congrats. Nice. Hey, I, I started with that and then I did the other two. So oh, that'll work. You got time, bro. I got time. I'm picking up some more coins, Indians, B nickels. I think Mark's got a big silver though. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh, over here. Put finger on it. That's a barber quarter. Yeah, sir. <laughs> You're literally following my footsteps. Catching up. <laughs> oh man. I guess we can whip and through that one too, huh? Yeah. Let me knock the dirt off a little bit. Yeah, if you want. Let's get some wear. 1902. I'm trying to figure out the sun. Beautiful. I mean, I got room for it. It's going to get all scratched up <laughs> over here. The other one. I'll put it in my box. I have no problem with that. 1902 barber quarter Whew, that's crazy our fifth silver quarter out of here yeah that is awesome yes sir you need to seat it now all right that's next <laughs> huh, still got an hour let's do it <laughs> awesome man right on so we got some of this not a coin how about that yay a relic relic time, relic time. it is relic time <laughs> nice crotal bell yeah man you can finger it Okay. You think it has pedals or no pedals? No, I don't think so. Maybe. It has pedals. Oh, look at that. Awesome. It still has the uh, the iron pin in it. There. Wonder how it fell off the leather then. Uh oh. It's shiny underneath of there. Any silver uh, plated? <laughs> no. The little little muck mint. Awesome man. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. <laughs> Made up stuff and things as always. Awesome. Congrats. Thank Heck you. yeah. Yeah, man. I love me some Crotal Bells. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I see your Crotal Bell and I raise you a smaller Crotal Bell. <laughs> yeah, another one for my cat. <laughs> oh, beautiful. It's a white metal one. Oh, no. I'm missing the top piece. Where's my top piece? Oh, well. That is awesome. <laughs> that's funny back to back cradle bells he said his is a three this has got to be a one little guy 
Oh, buddy, my stomach's in knots right now. Yeah. Because I just tripped over a 9091, which is a half dollar signal. This is a silver half dollar. I'm telling you right now. I'm calling it. Well, that was your goal for the year, wasn't it? Whew. You didn't get a half right last year, the right? trees in the driveway and there's roots. Yeah, it was my goal for the year to find one. I did it. Oh, there's no roots on this side. So we'll put this from this side. Come on, just be there. All right, we plugged it. Where's my half? Oh no, it's a clad half. It is, it is, it's a clad half. Ha, <laughs> ah, payback. Couldn't even been a walker. <laughs> It is a clad half dollar. Well, that ain't May, right? 1974. Oh, well. Well, 50 cents in taco money, buddy. <laughs> heads or tails? Tails. It's heads. I get to keep it. Uh, you're treating. <laughs> <sighs> Not right. Hey, you remember a couple months ago? It's going to be hard to come down from that signal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we just took the picture for the thumbnail and... We're gonna have to redo it. You got another silver, bro? Well, this one, this one would disappear <gasps> in that thumbnail. Ooh, yeah, that's a little one. <laughs> that's gotta be a trime. It's a trime, bro. We we, we said there's gonna be a trime here. <laughs> mm. Get her out of there. All right. I'll whip and fool you. Like, don't be a fifty-two. <laughs> don't that be is a fifty-two. Awesome. This is the area of the yard where we haven't really been hunting. I think that's the seaside. Can't see. Yep, that's the seaside. It's gonna be a sharp little coin. Don't be a 52. Don't be a 52. Listen to you. <sighs> Survey says 60s. 1852. <laughs> <laughs> Upset that you got a tribe that <laughs> the date of all your other tribes. Dude, that is awesome. A three cent silver. <sighs> I can't believe there's only two cent pieces in here either. Oh no. Between that and this and all the Indians and V nickels and Seeds, awesome coin, brother. Heck yeah, that's your second one of the year. Shh. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> we just told everybody, <laughs> everybody that's watching this video. Heck yeah, what a day, man. The, the sun's all but gone. All but, I think we got another hour. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to give it up today, brother. Maybe you put that in your cotton. I'll put it in my sack. Anything <laughs> for you, buddy. Thank you. That is awesome. The lightest coin the U.S. ever minted right there. Three cent silver coin. Wow. So I just dug this really deep. When I first saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, is that a 20 cent piece? It's obviously not. But Muck just found another silver coin. <laughs> 1939. Yeah, man. Does that mean we both have five silvers now? We do. Does that mean we have to quit? No. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was going to be another zinc penny. It's another crotal bell. It beeped just like a zinc penny. Check it out. Yay, I got the top on this one. But I don't have pedals. Oh, I do have pedals. I do. It's another little white metal one. Oh, man, that's going to clean up beautiful. I'm actually going to take this one home, clean it out, and I'm going to rant for you right now. <laughs> this is the... Uh, little crotal bell that I dug doing a little cut in for the crotal bell Bobby it's a beautiful little white metal one what? A oh look it's Bob Bob didn't want to go metal detecting today he wanted to go fishing so we're out here fishing if you want to see this video you gotta go subscribe to mental health day is that the fishing channel? yeah that's the fishing channel well my other hobby channel right here today catching some crappie what other hobby you? I got all kinds of hobbies Bobby but we gotta go back to the show. <laughs> well, this sounded just like a weedy, and it is sterling. It says something right there. I looped this side. It says sterling right there. It's broken right there. It's hollow silver. I'm, I don't know if it was a, maybe scissors or a brooch or something. Yeah, dress, dress up Pete for an old lamp. Definitely, some, I don't know. It's silver. Like Fancy There's got. There could be more of it in here. Yeah. Hopefully, it should be. I guess. 
Well, if you're new to the hobby or thinking about getting into the hobby, the good days make up for the bad days. And this was an outstanding day. I mean, talk about a full board. And we were just in between where the store used to be and the house. There's so much more to do at this place. There's all the hard work. Got a nice PBR can there out of the field. Whew, what a day. Pretty even, too. You got this thing. We were hoping it was going to be a belt buckle, but there's no details on it. You got a rain guide and old key there for a clock, possibly. Some uh, bridal rosette pieces. There's this crotal bell, hem weight. He did pull out a little change purse, but there was nothing in it or around it, which is a heartbreaker. But there's some harmonica reeds and some clad. There's a pile of Wheaties. There's another little key. And you got six Indians. You got a nickel quadfecta. Yes, sir. So you got three buffs. There's a Jeff. That's a V and that's a shield. You got the toasted copper right off the bat today. We still don't know what that is. He got one of the Cracker Jack tokens. You got a Merc, two Washington quarters, a Barber quarter, and a Trime. And a little tiny key. You got you got a key trifecta, bro. I did. <laughs> There's a lantern part and an old tag, a D buckle, spoon handle, my two crotal bells. I did get a nine precious ring there at the end whole pile of clad there's a pile of uh melted lead i got a musket ball it looks like a little bag seal or cloth seal i got six wheaties i got three v nickels the only two flat buttons we saw today six indians the uh large sense the drape bus and the uh matron i got two of the uh cracker jacks i got washington and grant the clad half dollar and my silvers my first ever trifecta on silver quarters the barber seated and i got a merc and a seated dime what an absolutely crazy day oh yeah and that silver thing so 10 silver coins plus that thing got 12 indians <laughs> wow <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, it was a very special day. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, it's, yeah. it's great to have friends like you. <laughs> it's great to have friends in this hobby. You know, he could have easily beeped this site by himself and found all this, but he shared it with me. And until next week, help clean up the ground, dig it all, and take the trash with you. Why? Why, Muck? Because all holes matter. Because all holes matter. What an amazing day. I don't have to zoom in on everything. All right, well, and I can I can hit the signal pretty high off the ground. I'm just trying to see what kind of depth this coil can get. It definitely sounds like a coin. It's low 80s, I want to say, mostly. There's definitely some other stuff, junk, and iron around it. But, <sighs> nice squeak right in the middle. Okay. Deeper in the hole, so that's good. I hit it. Okay. Do it this way, a little. No, nope. in the middle. It almost sounds like I'm pushing it around. Shut up! Enough of that. <laughs> it's like the worst sound in the world. Yeah, they should have made it sound like Metallica. <laughs> we are right on the side of the driveway. Oh, there it is. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's the D. Yeah. Well, the square. Super size square D. We can cut that one. Right. <laughs> to the back of the reel. Cut that one of those, right? <laughs> huh? Somewhere in that funk, I think there's a coin because I saw a round thing uh, right there, and it went that way. Is that it right there? I was I was turning on because he's he was liking his signal. The more he was getting closer to it. I saw something pop out. Saw it round. I just dug another Indian. Yeah. Right in there. Should be. Jump. 
You Ooh. saw so, you saw something round. Ooh, I did. It was something round on my plug. I lied to you. <laughs> it's okay, buddy. That's the biggest shame. Is this over? No, not even close. Oh man! What in the world is that thing? <laughs> Boo! Boo! Not fun. That is something for uh, your sack. <laughs> oh, it bounced right out of your sack and hit rim me. Rim shot. <laughs>